Today I'm headed to everyone's favorite wholesaler, Sam's, to taste test everything from their pre-made meal section to see which ones are the best and which of these options would be a great holiday potluck dish for those of you who don't wanna cook a single thing this holiday season. I see you, I hear you, I am you. I am also getting to partner with Cricut on this video and I'm gonna show you how to make a holiday spread look fancy and custom with them in just a sec. My name is Erin, I love to taste test things. If you're new here, make sure to subscribe to this channel and so many of you love my other Costco pre-made meal video. So I'm back at it again and the spread is spreading behind me. I'm telling you every time I look around, I feel like this food is multiplying. There's a lot here, so let's jump in. And Matt's standing in the background waiting for me to finish this video so he can eat. Anticipation. He's like peering down the hallway like a stalker. Okay, I'm gonna start with the colder items and work my way up to the heated stuff because I do have to heat a lot of this stuff up in the oven. These little chicken wraps have been calling my name. They are just so aesthetic and I just think they look so cute. But there's no sauce that came with this, which was very confusing, especially if you wanna qualify yourself as a buffalo style. Skeptical, so let's try it. That is pretty good. I don't know where the buffalo stuff comes into play, but there is buffalo in here. It doesn't look like there's sauce. It kind of looks like it's dry somehow, but there's a nice spicy kick in there, kick in the mouth. The only thing is I bought all this stuff yesterday, and I think the breading is a little bit, a little soggy. The flavor is impeccable, highly recommend. I'm going to make them for I shouldn't be doing it, but I have to, because it's too good. Next is the Mediterranean pasta salad. And when I was checking out, the girl who was helping me was like, I really like the salad, but the kale is a little not cooked. It looks like it's not cooked. I wouldn't expect it to be, but let's just try it and see what she was talking about. Oh, I like that one. The thing about it is I almost feel like it could use a sauce or something, but it's really healthy and really yummy. I don't know what she's talking about with the kale. I like the kale's crunch, although I don't really love kale generally, but I think it adds a lot here. And these sun-dried tomatoes dough are so good. The Parmesan is good. Like this is a salad that I actually wouldn't want to start with, <laughs> mostly because it has cheese and pasta in it. <laughs> Which does that even constitute a salad? I don't even know. Next up is this broccoli with raisins and bacon salad. This is a season of raisins. Everywhere I go, I feel like I've got stuff with raisins in it. I have a deep hatred for raisins. Someone in my last video commented, I'm really sad, I love raisins, as if I just broke their heart. It's gonna be okay. We can disagree on raisins, we can still be friends. I might judge you like a little bit, but not too much. <laughs> it's an interesting concoction, I have to say, and let's try it. Whoa, that was not what I was expecting, but in the best way possible. It's sweet. It's probably thanks to the raisins. Let's give the raisins credit where the credit is due, okay? It's creamy. It's almost like, um, I don't know. I don't know, but it's so good. These two salads taste like restaurant grade. Maybe better than restaurants. I am gonna eat this. This is a rotisserie chicken salad. Y'all love Sam's rotisserie chicken. I actually have a rotisserie chicken, so I'm sure it's the same chicken that's in this. Let's try it. This is Gonna, this is something that you'd want to eat with crackers or something. Eating it by itself feels a little strange. And I thought there'd be more extras like celery and things. It's a little bit all chicken, but I'm prepared to have my mind changed. <laughs> that is so good. That is so good. Good. Not me getting emotional. <laughs> I think it needs a little crunch. It doesn't look appealing. You're like, what is that even? I'm not even sure. Don't ask questions. Just stick it in your mouth as fast as possible and you'll thank me later. Now I wanna move into what I'm gonna call the holiday section of this video where I'm gonna kinda taste test all of the things that are really perfect for a holiday soiree. Do people have soirees these days? This year for the holidays, I'm actually gonna be flying back to North Carolina. This will be our first year without my mom, who was kind of the one who spearheaded all of the meals. It's kind of been pressed upon me as the elder child to make our holiday meals feel special, as special as my mom made them. So this year I'm kind of going bougie with it. And by bougie, I mean actually on a budget because I'm partnering with Cricut to show you guys how easy and simple it is to make a beautiful presentation for a holiday meal without spending too much and getting to make it completely your own. Coming in to this video, I already 
had the Cricut Explore Air 2, but I added the Cricut Joy Extra into my collection because it's a bit more portable for me and I love that I can keep it at the desert house to help me make custom signage and labels for guests without taking too much space. Now, if you're new to Cricut, they are spiffy cutting machines where you can create stickers and labels, cards, iron on logos for unique apparel and interesting paper creations that will instantly make your life way more fun. They also have a library of images that if you want to use for inspiration, you can. It's in their Cricut design space, which is free to use by the way. You can check out this design in my design space profile linked in the description. Or if you're like me and you know how to make your own designs, you can also upload any design of your choice into the Cricut design space and the Cricut can cut it for you. So for this, I bought these really cute wooden signs and spray painted them. And then I used my Cricut Joy Extra to lay out, cut my labels on their nifty smart vinyl. And all I had to do was place it on the feeder, align my images in the design space and cut it. It is that easy. My favorite part about this whole process though is going in and peeling back the excess vinyl to expose the design underneath. It is so satisfying and maybe a little bit more than I should even admit in public. I also use their transfer tape to move my labels to the little sign. And just like that, my meal just got a big old facelift. You might also remember that I've used their iron on materials in the past to create all kinds of things. But for this video, I'm making little gift bags of holiday mulling spices. And I use Cricut's Easy Press to heat up the iron on materials to kind of lock the design into my gift bags for the guests, which is such a nice touch for the table. And I made these custom seating charts using some of Matt's old law school graduation stationery that we have literally never used to kind of keep the overall theme going. I'm trying to decide which of these styles I like best. So let me know if you like the custom wax seal option or if you like the little custom Christmas trees. I actually cut these Christmas trees and snowflakes out of a thick Cricut material called brushed paper and I spray painted them to kind of match the motif. I love that you can just make these with your Cricut machine. So here are how my dinner table signs turned out and I love that I can match those with my custom guest seating signage and my little gift bag logos. Now everything looks intentional cohesive and elevated and I can't believe how little time and effort this took. Truthfully, I'm kind of the worst scrapbooker DIY person, but with Cricut, you don't have to have any design experience. Another cool feature is you can actually create images on your phone and just send them to your Cricut Joy Extra. Cricut is really just that easy to use and it also would be a great gift for someone in your life who loves to hand make gifts or labels, but I secretly think you should just get it for yourself. Check out Cricut down in the description below. So let's get back to the meal part of the Thanksgiving meal. The color is the same. And that's how you know it's good. Let's start with the sweet potato mash. This is a special edition seasonal exclude, and it smells so good. When I put this in the oven, it's, it's like you don't even need a candle. The whole house just smells like Santa lives there. So let's try it. It's actually not as sweet as I thought it would be, which I think can happen with sweet potato casseroles and things like that. Maybe a little too sweet. I really like that it's not that sweet. I think you could use some maybe like pecans crumpled on top or something with a crunch, but the butter to sweet potato ratio is just perfection, 10 out of 10. Let's move into the potato gratin, which are these gorgeous little, they look like hockey pucks. It's like a nice twist on mashed potatoes. Cheers. Oh. Oh my gosh, that was a beautiful experience. My inside just cheered, cheered in celebration. It just warmed me up, you know what I mean? It's like a ray of sunshine from the inside out. Y'all, that is high end. Y'all, I got six of these for $7. If you don't get this for your holiday meal, you don't love people as much as you say you do. Let's try the mac and cheese. The last mac and cheese from a marketplace that I had was not that great, but this one already looks better because the noodles are not as thick and the ratio to cheese and noodle is like a little bit better. So let's see what it's about. Mm, that's a good mac and cheese. I would not make mac and cheese from homemade, like from scratch, wouldn't do it. Go to Sam's, get this mac and cheese, put it in a pretty dish, nobody will ever know. That's how my mom used to host parties. She had us fooled for years about her secret recipes to things that she really just got from like Cracker Barrel, okay? All right, this is a chicken pot pie. And when I say a chicken pot pie, I mean like it's enough pot pies to feed an entire nation. I don't think this is gonna be bad either. Oh man, y'all, that is so good. I don't know, should I not say it? I should say it. I think that's one of the best chicken pot pies I've ever had. I was gonna give some of this food away because it's so much food, but I don't think I can give any of it away. Y'all, that is so sweet, that flaky crust. I've, the hair on my legs is growing, just thinking about it. It's lots of good breading. I like good breading, you know? 
I'm coming back to you, baby girl. You and me, we have a date later, okay? I'm gonna move into this baked potato. Let's try it. Mm -hmm. It's good, but once you have this potato gratin for $1 each, you can't untaste it. You, it was, I'm sorry, it's like I should have started with this one because I would have ranked this super high until I had that one. All right, I'm gonna move into fettuccine Alfredo. Now, I tried this dish from another wholesaler. It was not very good at all, so I'm a little nervous, but let's see if this one hits the spot. So good. How much was this, do we know? I feel like the other place that I tried had the same size carton for like 20 bucks. This carton was $12, and by far, the flavors, the seasoning, the texture, impeccable. It's time for dessert, and I'm gonna jump into the pumpkin pie. I think one of you told me that the pumpkin pie at Sam's is the best, so cheers. Y'all, that was so good. I gotta go home for a second bite. I know it's against the rules, but. Mm, 10 out of 10. And y'all, I don't even like pumpkin pie. I'm a pecan pie gal. This will not let you down. This is the trust fall that you can actually trust fall and feel confident. I'm just, this is like the per, it's, oh my gosh. I have to admit something to you. The last few Thanksgivings I've ordered pies. There's this place that will sell you a pumpkin pie for $60. It was a stupid decision, I've done it, okay? I've done it, it's a stupid decision because it never tastes like $60, okay? It never does. This is way better than that one and I think it was $5. Do not make pumpkin pie yourself this year. This was one of the most popular comments in my last video, and that is that this place makes the best rotisserie chicken, better than the competitors. So, of course, I had to get it, and I just cut a slice of the breast out just because that's my favorite kind of meat. Their prices were insane. I think these were like $4. The smell is so good. It was juicy. It still looks juicy. They also serve chicken breasts, like just seasoned chicken breast. Oh, it smells really good. Which one should I start with? Let's start with the, the rotisserie of it all. Oh, y'all, it is so tender. I can't even get over how juicy and tender it is. It is so flavorful. You were so right. Best rotisserie in the game. 11 out of, I was gonna say 100 out of 10. 100 out of 10. Let's try the chicken breast offering. Mm-hmm. That has a little bit more of a blackened, like smoked off the grill kind of vibe. It has like a really strong rosemary flavor, which I think is good, but it, it needs something to balance it, but it was good. This rotisserie, ch rotisserie, chicken, this rotisserie chicken, I think that's like the number one in this whole video. I don't want to give it away. We'll, we still have <laughs> many more things to go. That might be number one. Next up is this Asian style crunch salad. Let's get a little drizzle here. I am always one of those girlies who asks for extra dressing and things are too expensive these days to not get extra dressing come on a lot of color a lot of varieties here I love a cute little their little teeny tiny wontons are so adorable let's eat them so adorable I could eat them hmm I think because it's a Brussels based salad it feels a little you know simple just just normal the dressing is bomb though I just think I'd put a different lettuce varietal on the bottom but it's very good very healthy very healthy breaking out the Caesar the other wholesaler place that I taste tested from also had a Caesar as well and I thought it was just okay I'm hopeful this was a little bit better because I love a Caesar it's like one of my go-to's I will say with this specific Caesar I got a lot of Parmesan, which I really appreciate because Parmesan really could make or break a Caesar salad. Cheers. Mmm, very peppery. That was a surprise. Usually they come around and they say, would you like some fresh ground pepper? And then you say yes, and then they want to stop, but you tell them to keep going. The poor pepper guy, when he comes to my table, he has no idea the arm workout he is in for. I'm like, no, you can keep going. No, a little bit more. You, you can definitely keep going. <laughs> They're like, dang girl, bring your own pepper next time. <laughs> this is superior to some of the other Caesar salads I've tasted on this channel. And I'm a Caesar girly, so I would know. What's funny is um, when I just said I'm a Caesar girly, it made me think of the Roman, Roman Empire. <laughs> I feel like all the men on TikTok deserve to be seen because I also think about the Roman Empire a lot. Next up is this apple bacon salad. There's so much stuff in here. We've got, looks like feta cheese, nuts of some sort, raisins again, bacon. I mean, it is a hearty, hefty salad. And I have mentioned this before, but I used to hate arugula. I've dogged it so much on this channel. Like it was my job. It was my permanent full-time job to tell you about how terrible arugula was. And I've started to like arugula. Matt doesn't understand me anymore. I don't understand me anymore, but arugula is changing me. Let's try this salad. <laughs> I think I have to hiccup. 
Y'all know we call it the pterodactyl here on this channel, but one of you said that you also have that kind of burp thing and that your husband calls it a herb, a hiccup and a burp and nothing has ever resonated with my soul more. Let me know, should we call it a herp or should we call it a pterodactyl? <laughs> Let me know in the comments. Let's try it. That's good. <laughs> Maybe it's because the arugula and I, it's the arugula and I love it so much. The balsamic that comes with it is so tasty. It's sweet and it has that nice little bitter kick, but it's, oh, this might be my favorite salad of the bunch. Sans raisins, of course. We we have excluded raisins from all of our events moving forward on this channel. I feel like Sam's could come on in with the good recommendations. This is gonna be tough, but I'm gonna power through just for you because I love you this much. Next is a shrimp ceviche. Now. I don't eat seafood, you guys know that, but I will dabble. I'll dabble just for you, even though the smell is already just smelling. I'm gonna try and get a bite that doesn't really have shrimp in it because it's just not my thing, but the girl at the checkout, she went through every single item that I bought, by the way, and told me what she recommends and what she doesn't. <laughs> she said, this is a very popular dish. Oh, I just touched a shrimp. I touched it. There's a lot of shrimp in here, which I think is good for those of you who like it. I don't know if I like this experiment. Do it for the people. Okay, that was actually kind of good. I was like afraid I was gonna have like shrimp in there somewhere, but the flavoring is nice. It's very fresh. The onions are very potent, so if you don't like onions, this is not just for you. If I liked shrimp, I would sit down and eat this whole thing. That's how good it is. So I get why people keep coming back for more for this. I just won't because, you know, I have issues. I'm gonna clear my palate with some fresh fruits and cheeses. This is a very popular item to buy at these warehouse places. A lot of them offer them. <laughs> I'm gonna go in on this grape first because I've never made a grape that I didn't like. Pretty much every grape I've ever eaten doesn't like me. I get so much bad gas. Is that too, maybe too much information? We're just gonna eat it. That is the perfect grape. The crunchiest, fattest, juiciest, freshest grape I've ever had. Like this is the kind of grape I feel like Cleopatra would demand. Let's go on to the strawberries. They all look pretty good. How is this all real? I've never gotten strawberries or grapes where all of them were perfect. I feel like every single one of these looks like exactly like it's supposed to look and it tastes so good. How do they get everything to taste so good and look so good? I don't get it. All right, let's move into the cheese. My favorite part, a little Kobe Jack. Benji would love this. I'm gonna move into the cheddar. Really should've gotten some crackers with this. 10 out of 10. How much was this? The other one that I tried in my last video was kind of pricey. It's kind of pricey. It's like 17 bucks, but for everything to be perfect, look perfect and taste perfect, I think it's worth that. All right, I'm moving into the rotisserie chicken enchiladas. Another employee at the store told me that these were good, but they should I should put my own sauce on them. I'm just gonna try them as is because they look beautiful. That does not need a single thing. That is perfect just the way you are. It's actually really salty. A little maybe too salty, if you will, but I think that's a nine out of 10. I think that's the perfect grab and go enchilada. I make enchiladas myself and this is better than my own enchiladas. So this is gonna be replacing that. Next is this shrimp pasta. Let's try it. Doesn't smell like shrimp. I think I prefer the enchiladas better. It does have that hint of under the sea to it that I'm just not a huge fan of. Okay, let's move into, is this lasagna? What is this called? This is the, ow. I think I just speared my big toe with a fork. Are you okay? Yeah. Oh. You still have a quarter? No, I just dropped the fork and it landed like the devil is here. He's alive and he's after me. Next up is the cheese manicotti, not to be mistaken for lasagna, even though I think it's pretty much almost the same thing. There's no meat in here, which sometimes I'm not in the mood for meat, so it's a really good option if you're vegetarian. It's just a little sweet, which is like kind of what you want. It has a like ricotta like sweetness to it. The sauce is just not too much, you know? It really lets all the different pieces shine. <sighs> I thought this video wasn't gonna be as great as it is. So this is a hatch chili enchilada, which I don't think I've ever had before. Why is everything so good? The flavor of that is perfect. Maybe this is the one that she said you need sauce for because it does taste a little dry. The flavor's amazing. But honestly, I don't even know if I, I, I'm probably just gonna eat it all. Just as it is, it's perfect. No notes for me. We are nearing the end. Let's talk about this taco kit. I really should come up with some new puns, but that one just gets me every time. This taco kit looks very similar to the one from the last place that I taste tested. I don't know if they came from the same manufacturer or if it's different. I guess 
guess we're about to find out, but it looks delicious. I wasn't super impressed with the sauces last time. I'm not even gonna dabble in that cilantro pool because y'all know how I feel about it. I was born to hate it, it's genetic, okay? However, I am gonna try it with the salsa. Hmm, I almost think it is slightly better than the last place somehow. Even though mentally I thought it was gonna be the exact same thing because the packaging is so similar. Even the font is similar. I don't know what's different about it, but I think that's a eight out of 10 option. I'm gonna move into something that was my number one choice, the last wholesaler, and it is the chili. So Sam's has a turkey chili and it's not quite as hefty as the last place this chili was. Looking at it already, I'm, my expectations are a little too high, I think, because the last place had a number one chili. And I think about that chili pretty much every week. Let's just see. Hmm, it's different. It's not the number one spot. There's too many things here that are so delicious, like mind-blowingly good. It's so hard for me to even say that's a top 10 because the competition is steep in this video. But it is a good option. It's not as good as the other one. But Matt had it for dinner last night and he liked it. So it's still winning. I'm gonna finish this taste test with a treat because I've earned it. And that is a pumpkin cream cheese cake roll. Now my sweet neighbor, Ms. Glennis, every time I come home, secretly makes me a pumpkin roll and drops it off. And she makes the best pumpkin rolls of all time. And it's made with love and she's like 80 years old and she's basically like my grandmother. And so the bar is very high oh, and the smell is so perfect. I have a contractor here building doors for me today. So that's what all the hoopla is about. Okay, let's try it. Mm. It's not Miss Glennis' homemade pumpkin roll, but it's really good. I still think I prefer the pumpkin pie over this, which is shocking if you know me, but this tastes very good to me right now. It's filling me up spiritually. I needed you today. We finally made it. These are the top 10 best things you can get from Sam's. Coming in at number 10 are the buffalo chicken wraps. Eat them fresh. They can get a little soggy if you wait, but impeccable. Next, we have the broccoli salad with raisins. Dare I even say it? It's true. You have to call a good thing when you see a good thing or when you eat a good thing in my instance. Next is the Mediterranean pasta salad. I don't know if it counts as a salad, but it is it's in the name, so it must count for something. Next is the rotisserie chicken salad. Visually, it leaves a lot to the imagination, but let me just tell you, when you eat it, you will understand why you just want to put that on everything. Next is the mac and cheese. Next is the cheese manicotti. I always call it the man Manatee. <laughs> the cheese manatee. Next is the pumpkin pie. This is seasonal, but for the price, I think it's like seven bucks run. Next are the potato gratin. I have not been blown away as much as these little potato pucks have blown me away in a very long time. In the second spot, we're getting to the top two, neck and neck, it has to be the chicken pot pie. It is massive, it is affordable. It really is almost a top tier number one, but it did get beat out by just a slight liver with the rotisserie chicken. Really the best of the best. Well, I need a cot with wheels to roll myself out of here because I don't think I can walk and I also stabbed my toe with a fork and it might be bleeding, I don't know. Let me know in the comments, is there any other part of any of your favorite wholesalers, grocery stores that you'd like to see me taste test from? Let me know, also subscribe to this channel and if you're here and you made it this far, please thumbs up this video. It helps it significantly in the algorithm and I hope you're having the best holiday season and thank you so much much to Cricut for sponsoring this video and for elevating my tablescape for the holidays. Otherwise, I would just put plates on the table. So now I get to have an elevated, beautiful holiday spread that my family will actually enjoy.